when I opened up my box, I saw that my replacement laser tube looks nothing like my previous laser tube. So I initially thought that they had sent me the wrong tube. It actually turns out that this is a newer model and a better model of tube than the one that originally came with the machine. So the setup process for this is different and I'm gonna go through that right now once I take it out of the box. So, so uh, now that it's out of the box, you can see this laser tube looks a lot more sophisticated and high tech than the previous laser tube that came with the machine. Um, looking through, uh, everything's upside down, but it's a Power Peak 100 watt, 90 watt output, um, which will kind of get maxed out because this, this power supply is only rated for 80 watts and is a YL laser. So I'll tag that in there so everybody kind of knows if you're searching for it. But as you can see, it has none of the other tubes that came previously. So I'm gonna take this cap off and I'm gonna show you how to get it all wired in. Okay, so I've just set the laser down in there just, just for show because the first thing you're gonna notice is that this tube is thinner than the previous tube. So you can see like it doesn't even touch the sides, um, but it does come with this support band, uh, which you can remove easily. It has uh, locking notches. So what you'll need to do first is to position your laser so that the front laser tube and the first mirror have about an inch and a half to three quarters of an inch separation between them. And then you'll need to move the support band so that it sits in the locking collar uh, at the appropriate distance. So I'm gonna go and make those adjustments now and then put the bands back on. All right, so I'm about a half inch away. I've adjusted my first ring so that it sits in the collar. And it just so happens that the back ring was fairly in there. I'm gonna adjust it just so it's a little bit more center. Uh, but as you can see, it sits in there, it's flush, it touches both sides, so it's secure in there. And it has these locking teeth uh, to make sure it fits around there snugly. Um, so I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna move this just a little bit, and I'm gonna add the collar, uh, and then I'll start the wiring process. Okay, so now we have them clamped into place, nice and secure. And you know, just want them snug in there, not, not too tight, but they're all snug, nothing's moving. Next, we're gonna do our wiring. So to do that, we're going to need to remove that screw because this wire, the black wire that was connected previously to the other black wire is now going to connect in where that screw is. And your red wire is going to connect in under this cap. So we're gonna remove this cap and I'll show you what's underneath and we'll show you how to connect into there. And then, you know, Later on, we'll connect your water tube, which is down there now. But yeah, we'll do all that coming up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this screw and you're gonna loosen it up enough so you have a little bit of play because you're gonna take your black wire and you're gonna wrap it around that screw And for mine, as you can see, it wraps around. And what you would do next is you would just kind of tighten it down so it's in place. So what uh, you could either measure and trim that off so it looks nicer, or you can do what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take some shrink wrap tube and put it on the end of this, now that I see how far it sticks out, and then rewrap it around there.
And now that I've done that, I'm just going to wrap it back around here. Twist it around. Nice and tight. And screw that down. So we have nice good collection uh, connection and it's not touching anything and we're pretty secure. Alright, next we're going to go to the back of the tube and remove the red cap. I'm just going to pry it around. And you can see this one also has a cap on the end. So we're going to do the same thing on this end that we did on the previous end with the red wire. So I'm going to take that screw, I'm going to loosen it up. Take our red wire, now that we've cleaned it up from all the silicone that was on there. And this one already cut short, so it fits around there really snug. And just... Fit in so it's nice and snug. And then we put the red cap back on. So... because it acts like an insulation cap for the tube. All right, so to wrap it up, we are going to take our water hose and reattach it to the water outlet. Now, these connections are a bit more flared than the previous uh, gold tip ones or copper tip ones, but um, just going to try to Make sure that's nice and snug on there and it goes through all the way to the tip. And I actually feel a lot more confident with these about them not slipping off. So I'm not really going to worry about reattaching the ring or actually what I might do is just right around the, the tip, just the tip, put it on there but not too tight because this is glass um, and you're touching directly to the tube. So I'm gonna loosen that up. Just enough to say it's snug. Because the last thing you want to do is break the tube. But yeah, like I said, because these flare out, uh, you probably really don't even need to put those back on, uh, at least in my opinion. You kind of do what you want to your machine. Uh, but I'm going to do the same thing on the other end with the blue, blue tube uh, to connect the back piece. All right, so now as you can see, before I put the end cap back on, I have my blue inlet tube connected here, red cap is back on, cable is secured underneath because this acts as an insulation, an additional insulation barrier for the power cord. I just taped the red wire into that kind of groove just so it's out of the way. Blue, t blue tube runs through the back. Black tube fits in the groove. And all right. So now I'm ready to close her up and fill her up with the uh, water. Alright, so we're checking, water is in, no bubbles, I'm 
everything looks good. Now, if you do have bubbles at all, uh, and you'll know because you'll see like a uh, like a bubble or a ring or something kind of in there, uh, all you have to do is go to your inlet hose, and if you pinch it and look at the tube, you'll see the bubble start to move, and then you just pinch it for a second and let it go, and you'll watch the bubble move. And if you still have a bubble in there, pinch it again, let it go, see the bubble move. Uh, and then I'd say let it run for a few minutes just to kind of work out any kinks. Maybe pinch it one or two more times just to make sure. But for the most part, you know, I'm just going to... And there you go. So I don't have any... I already popped all my bubbles, so everything looks good. So now we are ready to let this run for a minute and then uh, do a test fire. Okay, uh, everything's connected, so it's time to get this party started. Laser is on. We're gonna adjust our max power down to 15%. Max power is at 15%. And let's give it a go. 